We've been training for over four years. We've got all our hours, all our qualifications. Can out hump any hot shot crew out there, but until we're certified, we ain't nothing but a bunch of deucers. We can't do anything. Doing something that's never been done before takes time. Sooner or later, the fire, she's gonna come and knock, and when she does, this whole place is gonna go off like a powder keg. And when she does, my crew won't even be able to set foot on the line. Eric, that attitude that you got right there, that cost you a lot of friends in the department. Come on, Dwayne, you're the wildland fire chief. You started this thing. I need your help. Hey, oh, that's nice. That's a good start. That's Josh Brolin and Jeff Bridges in Only the Brave. This is a true story yeah. about a group of firefighters, very special uh, group of firefighters called Hot Shots. Yeah. These are the guys that go up and they put out the wildfires in the yeah. mountains. It's a very, very dangerous job. Yeah, and it's a, you know, a tragic story uh, about these uh, bunch of these Hot Shots that they perished in a fire, but the movie doesn't concentrate on that. It's really about their lives and what kind of uh, bravery these guys had to go, you know, exactly where most people don't want to go. I think you about know. that every time there's one of those Isn't fires. Like, you, do, you know, you see it on the news, you see the fire, you're like, oh, there's guys in there with hoses. Yeah, or, yeah, or it, the, what happened in Vegas, those first responders. Man, it, it's unbelievable, guys. yeah, it really is, yeah. It's yeah. amazing. Well, in the movie, you play, uh, first of all, a guy named Dwayne. Is this your first Dwayne? Because I feel like no, it, no. you must have had other Dwayne's. Really, yeah, Dwayne, uh, uh, Dwayne from uh, Last Picture Show. Yeah, that's, yeah. okay, so yeah, you probably had more Dwayne's yeah, than anybody. I've, been, I've had a few Dwayne. <laughs> the cool thing about this one, Dwayne Steinbrink, the guy that I play, who is the, uh, the former uh, head of the um, uh, Wildland Division Chief uh, from Prescott, he, uh, he was around and he was very uh, gung ho about our movie and really wanted oh, to really? tell the story properly. So I got to hang out with him. Nice. And one of the uh, interesting aspects of this guy is on the side, he had a country band. <laughs> called it, the Rusty Pistols. Is that part and, of and, and you that's got to... part of our movie, you know? Right, right. And we use the real Rusty Pistols. Oh, the real those yeah, guys were the real Rusty yeah. Pistols in the movie. My buddy T Bone uh, Burnett, he got to you know he recorded he put... us and you know we had a great time doing that. Is that you know I know you you've sung in, in a number of movies. Have you ever written a song for one of your movies? <laughs> <laughs> I wrote a tune for uh, King Kong. You know, I was in King Kong. You know, right, about, you of know, course. The 76th moment. The good Jesse one, the Lang. best one, well, yeah. Well, the weird one. It was, it was bizarre. To me, it was oh, all oh, real. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can tell you stories. But uh, so uh, Dino De Laurentiis, you know, he called me into his office. Oh, the Jeffy, producer. Uh, Jeffy, uh, come on in, Jeffy. I, I, one word, or two words I would say. Kong a two, Jeffy. Kong a two. And he's p pitching me this thing. I say, you know, I'd like to pitch you an idea, Dino. We haven't shot the end of our movie yet. And uh, here's my idea, Dino. The monkey falls off the building, and he crashes on the ground. But he bursts into flames, and it turns out he's a machine. Like a robot? Robot. And then you <laughs> set up, you know, that's perfect setup for Kong the Two, where Charles Grodin character, you know, buys the carcass and takes it around, the aliens come in or whatever, you know. <laughs> anyway, I wrote a song about that story. You did? Uh, yeah. Do like, you remember uh, any of that song? Uh, uh, there's, there's somebody in the jungle that, uh, uh, there's somebody in the jungle and he wants to get out. He's behind a wall. It was built long before the Atlantic Sea. He's so old, he's maybe older than the Bible itself. And he's breaking out. He wants to establish himself as a monkey man. <laughs> he's going to New York to be a citizen. <laughs> and then I was buddies with Burgess Meredith at the time. Oh my Burgess God! Burgess Meredith, you know, you know yeah. who Burgess Meredith. People know him as course. Maybe the Penguin, the Penguin, from, yeah. and from Rocky. Yeah. And he was—he was a wild guy. And I had <laughs> Burgess do this little kind of talking uh, middle part that was based on the Hindenburg. You know, crash. You know, like a spoken and he said, word. Oh, the monkey is falling! Oh my <laughs> God! It's working to flame the humanity. He's burning. He's a machine. Wow. What does this mean? 
And Dino, he said no to and that? He, no, he just... Well, you, you've done Saturday Night Live. No, you know. I never oh, have. No. no. Well, it's the kind, he had the expression that all the writers have when... Remember, Bo and I do Saturday Night Live. <laughs> and you pitch him something and you're excited. And then... <laughs> That's well, the I think Dino was short-sighted in that. Oh. that. And, uh, I mean, listen, if you'd like to record that, I'd be happy to oh. lo loan you my band. They're well, here and they're well, ready to do Monkey I'll Man. I've got a recording of them. Jeff Bridges, everybody. Only the brave of us October 20th. Do you love clicking buttons and subscribing to things? Then click the button to subscribe to my channel and you'll finally be happy.